Hi, thanks for joining MTC's webinar on Group Calendar for Microsoft Dynamics 365. I'm Ravi Kiran, Marketing Manager at Management Technology Consulting. Group Calendar is a management tool that allows a team leader or a manager to monitor their team's activities as well as assign activities to them on the fly using the Group Calendar tool. With this, a manager or team leader can ensure maximum productivity and better resource utilization. Uh, let's see how Group Calendar works and how to configure Group Calendar in your CRM instance. What you see on my screen is a Dynamics 365 instance with Group Calendar solution installed on it. You can download Group Calendar from Microsoft App Stores or MDC websites uh, such as mdccrm.com or dynamicsexchange.com. After installation, you can find Group Calendar under all solutions. And once you finish installing the solution, you need to do some basic configurations, post which you can start using the product. I'm going to show you the basic configuration that you need to do on Group Calendar. Click on Group Calendar, uh, window opens up, then go to Group Calendar settings. And these are the activities that you can uh, configure on Group Calendar. So click on each of the tabs, go to Appointments, you see uh, Show Creativity Activity, click on the checkbox to make sure that this appears on the calendar. And if you want to add any tooltip attributes, tooltip tool attributes are uh, nothing but the information that you can see when you hover uh, your mouse on the particular activity created. That means when I hover the mouse on appointment activity on group calendar, you can see the details that you take box here. Here, for instance, I have uh, select description, due date, and priority SLA modified by. And, and to the right you see appointment display attributes. These are the attributes that you can see right on the calendar for your uh, knowledge. Apart from this, there are something called as uh, pick list attributes. Pick list attributes are something that uh, uh, helps you add more uh, widgets to the activity by you know setting the activity status or the priority so if I check priority you can uh, go for low priority normal and high and you can color code them so that you can easily see a reflector on the group calendar and you can uh, take necessity steps to follow the activities you see the appointment default color is uh, green uh, which means the when I whenever I create a new appointment, the appointment would be uh, displayed in green color. So after you are done with these settings, uh, click on save, and the settings will be saved. Then you need to click on submit button. So calendar settings are modified. Likewise, you can repeat the same set of things with uh, the other thing, other tabs or the other activities. Now you can see that if the checkbox show create activity that means it appears on the group calendar and the uh, selector the color as well as uh, I can as well uh, go for the tooltip attributes as well as the display attributes. I need to save this. Click on OK and then submit. So I need to repeat this with uh, all the activities that are listed here. So in all, it is like three plus three plus one, which is seven activities which you can actually configure on Group Calendar. Plus there is an option for you to also configure one custom entity. Apart from this, there are something called as views. You can also set the views like for the enable users or team members or use following you can set the views and there's something called as team view you can also do set team views in the facility view. After you're done with the settings just 
click on save button and then on submit button. Go to click on save button and then on submit button. Now I'm gonna close this uh, window and uh, go back to the site map. Uh, you can see workplace here. Click on workplace, then you see the group calendar. Click on group calendar. So this is the group calendar, and on the left hand side you can see there's a calendar, a small calendar, and uh, just below that there's something called as my calendar. My calendar refers to all the activities that are listed on your name. Just scroll this down, scroll the bar down, and you can see something called as team. If there are teams uh, on this uh, in your organization, you can also have them here, and you can uh, also assign activities to the team members. Just below that, you have something called as facilities and equipment. You can. Uh, also use extra sources while you know scheduling activities for them and at the end you have select activities you can select all activities or you can deselect all activities when you deselect all activities all the activities would vanish from the main pane right here because I've uh, checkbox show create activity so all the activities are displayed here. Let me uh, revert this and select all. Now, now this, the, the, the big pane, what you see here is the actually the group calendar main pane where you can uh, see calendar and timeline views uh, as well as the day, week and month views. And because this is on a day mode, it shows today's date and the background you see is yellow in color. It represents that today's current date on the, in the calendar. And as well, you can see uh, the box here in orange color, which means today's date is selected. And you can also see it is represented here. You can go one day back and front using these uh, side arrows. And on the top, you've got uh, export calendar. You can export this calendar, and you can print this calendar. You can save this calendar. You and then you can uh, use this refresh button, and this is uh, the full screen button. You can just simply click this, and you can get full screen. Okay, now I'm gonna go ahead and show you how we configure, uh, how we create activities on group calendar. So let me go for the uh, weekly view. In the weekly view, you see. This is how it represented. And if you want to create any activity, see you can you can see the yellow background uh, is highlighted on Friday, June 30, because it represents the current date. And you can simply go and right click uh, on the calendar and select any of the activity. Let me go for appointment. I just need to click on the appointment. It opens the appointment form. I need to fill in the details. So subject, I'm going to uh, call Jake for business deal. Okay, and uh, the timing is from 8.50 p.m. to 9.20. This is for three minutes. I'm going to go ahead and save this. Okay, that's done. This time I'm going to close this. You can see it appear right on the group calendar. So call J for business. Remember I told you about the tool, uh, tool tip attributes. Uh, these are what I'm talking about, tool tip attributes. So the, all the attributes that you set here, when you hold the mouse on the particular activity, you can see all uh, the relevant data that you want uh, to see. And the other important thing is uh, you can see the number the subscript here, which uh, on a, on, the, on a date, which uh, actually gives you the information about the number of activities uh, scheduled on the particular day. Here, the number is four, which means on 28 there are four activities. Let's go and check one, two, three, and four. And the color coding is uh, because the user has configured different color coding for different activities. 
So uh, this is for the campaign and this is for the appointment and this is a letter and this is again the appointment. Uh, so this is how you can actually go ahead with uh, creating activities on the calendar. And uh, there's something called as the uh, timeline view. Timeline view is uh, where you can see all the resources and you can simply go ahead to a particular resource and just create activity for them. That's how you actually assign activities for the resources as well as team together. And the other beautiful feature is you can actually drag and drop these activities right from here, which will save you tons of time without having to go to that particular record and make changes. As well as if you want to go to the particular record, simply double click on it. You can, uh, it'll take you to the record. This is how simple group calendar is, but very effective and very influential, helping team leaders and managers to have better coordination with their team, get better productivity and make better resource utilization. Let's also take the month uh, timeline view. So on the month, uh, this is how it shows up. And if you go to the calendar month view, uh, it's, it appears something like this. And if you want to uh, select only one user, you can uh, select one and deselect the other one so that the activities related to that particular user shows up. And when, as I told, when I click on my calendar view, it shows the list of activities that are assigned on my name. So there's other option, which is uh, set as default view. You can set this particular view as a default view. And you can actually uh, save the current view and set that view as the default view. So as I told you, if I deselect some of the activities, you could see the, all the appointments vanish from here. There you go, it's back. Now, the as I told you, apart from these seven activities, you can also do a custom entity configuration with group calendar. I'll show you how it is. Go to settings. Go to solutions and then click on group calendar again. So earlier we clicked on group calendar settings. Now this is the custom entity. Just give the entity name from the uh, drop down. You can select anything and then give the start date and select the attributes. This works similar to uh, the other settings we've done. Just give it and just click on the submit. Then you can go ahead with uh, the group calendar for the particular entity. This product is insanely great and every organization should make an effective use of this. And for the record, Group Calendar is the best selling product for MTC. If you have any queries, please write down to salesteamatratemtccrm.com. That's it. Have a nice day. Bye.